Hello everyone. An array of strikes in the commercial services and industrial sectors continued today, Thursday, the 77th day of the nationwide uprising. Merchants and store owners, workers and employees of the country's industrial sectors and truck drivers throughout the country signaled their sympathy with the protesters an uprising and delivered on their promise to continue striking. Referring to the truck drivers' strike that has spread to more Iranian provinces on its sixth day, the NCRI president-elect, Maryam Rajavi, urged everyone to assist them since they have stopped work despite difficult living conditions. Poverty, corruption, inflation, and unemployment can only be eliminated with the regime's overthrow, she added. The protests in Iran are continuing as people remain steadfast in the pursuit of overthrowing the regime and establishing a free and democratic country. The cheerful celebration of the loss of what Iranians called the regime's team in World Cup 2022 in Doha was met with yet another display of barbaric violence by the security forces in the early hours after midnight of November 30. A commuter in Bandar Anzali, northern Iran, who was honking his car horn in celebration, the 27-year-old Mehran Samak, was shot to death by regime security forces. Samak was buried on Wednesday as mourners shouted at security forces, death to Khamenei, and you are foul, you are immoral, I am a free woman. Social media posts also showed security forces beating a woman in Ghazvin just for expressing joy at the loss of the regime's team. While the ruling theocracy and its vast security apparatus struggle to contain the uprising with such brutal oppressive measures, the Iranian people have demonstrated determination to continue the current uprising in different cities across the country, despite various ebbs and flows. People throughout Iran are calling for a nationwide three-day campaign of escalated protests marking the country's Students' Day on December 7, starting on December 5. Thank you for watching.